In every situation I can help but find That I always seem to put myself in the line Not for me, but for what I can do for you I'm giving it up, now I'm through you tell anyone what you just saw here? Yes, sir. I want everyone that owns a dog executed. Executed, sir? Fire. Yes, sir. Right now! Yes, sir. Go! Do it! I'll clean it up right away, sir. I've come to the conclusion you have the ability to run things in my way in my absence. Thanks. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Good. <laughs> you know, it never ceases to amaze me. You put a little bit of pressure on our opponent the way you did this morning. They come right around to our way of thinking. I really had a good time. It always works. <laughs> and everything we do in this company from now on is going to work. Don't forget our appointment in the morning. I want to play my virtual reality CD-ROM for you. All right, at 11. Hey, why don't we do it now? I've got time. No. No. We'll both do it together in the morning when we're fresh. No, no, I have a better idea. You will show the CD-ROM at the stockholders meeting a week from today. Then they will know our cutbacks. They will understand your bonus, and they will see how I can cut to the bone like a butcher. And if any of those idiot savant snot pocket kids come up and threaten to quit, tell them they've already been fired. You got it. Okay. making sizable cutbacks in order to remain profitable for the coming season. In my absence, Dexter Pearsley will be commander-in-chief. We will be cutting salaries. Extended vacations will be limited to one week. Yearly bonuses will be eliminated this year, and Dexter will discuss our new animal control policy, which is very strict, by the way. There are other sweeping changes which Dexter will send out to you on your email. And for those of you who wish to, you might start looking for another job. In fact, find one. Because in my opinion, you're useless here when you don't have the courage that I have to make profit no matter what it takes. What are we to do with him? He has no redeeming value whatsoever. The man has never done a good deed in his entire life. What about the dog? He didn't run over the dog, did he? His jerking of the steering wheel was a reflex, hardly an achievement. That was cool. Where am I? We looked long and hard and couldn't find one moment that you actually helped someone other than yourself. Yes, I like the dog.
They want you to go back. Well, that's cool. They just made a mistake. That's okay. Everyone makes mistakes. That's not what you told your employees. You remember the ones that made mistakes and then you fired, don't you? Yeah. Like the temp you fired last week. She needed that job, her mother's sick. Or have you forgotten about the pregnant girl who has no insurance because you cut benefits? Look at all the cruel and inhuman jokes you played on your brother and most loyal employee, Dexter Pearlsley. So, when do I get to go back? <laughs> Do you have a problem with dogs? Yes. He did not with the dogs. It's been decided. They want you to go back as a dog. Me, as a dog, going back? I can't stand dogs. Your name is Quigley. <laughs> Please tell me you can see me. Oh, they said I'll be the only one who'll be able to see you as you once were. Everyone else will see you as Quigley. Am I a talking dog? Oh, no, I'm afraid not. You can talk to me, but I can't help you. Say, you could bark if you like. <sighs> Why don't you give it a try? Just. <laughs> that was all right. Not an option, Archie. I'm here to watch and keep you out of trouble without lifting a finger to assist you. Well, this isn't good. Tell me what to do. They gave you two assignments. And if you do them well, I suspect they might consider allowing you through the gates. What if I can't do them? Oh, I think they'll find someone else. Someone more cooperative. Uh, OK. Let's get it over with. Oh, I don't think they'd approve of your hurried attitude. That was a dumb thing to say. Dogs are always in a hurry. Oh, oh, okay, okay, you're way on your way. Oh, thank you. Oh, what's his name? His name's Quigley, and he loves to have his ears pinched. Oh. I know, we have to go right now, uh, but I'm sure Quigley thanks you for the ear pinches, don't you, boy? You owned all of this, and you never did anything nice for anyone? I was in a hurry. I wanted to be a multi-billionaire before I was 40. There's something you need to do, and there isn't much time. I'm a dog. What's that got to do with anything? Because dogs don't get along with me. They've never liked me. They chase me. They bite me. I step in their poop. I hate dogs. Well, that's going to make things a bit more challenging, isn't it? Well, you're on your own. And good luck. OK, tell me what you want me to do. It's not what I want you to do. This is something you have to do for yourself, from deep down within your own heart, uh, if you have one. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. I'll see you when you're finished. Give me a hint. people to keep this door locked. Well? I, I don't know what Archie did with it. I, 
Where could he have hidden the only copy of his prized virtual reality CD-ROM? The stockholders meeting is tomorrow. I gave him my word I'd play the CD on his behalf. Yeah, well, short of tearing his office apart, I'm not sure what else to do. This is not a good way for me to celebrate my 35th birthday, Sarah. Happy birthday anyway. Come on, th things are gonna work out fine. You'll see. I, I mean, isn't there anything I can do to help this? I was just reading the last memo I got from Archie. He envisioned our interactive games to perform like no others. Now, he saw the AC Dimex with the dual pads and the triple joysticks to be playing in every home in America. Well, I mean, they are really fun to play. You know, when you have to drop one joystick and just as quickly pick the other one up again, I mean, you can't help but become completely obsessed with this game. Exactly. But there are flaws in the system, Sarah. <laughs> Was ist los hier? Hast du nicht gemeint, du Klosse? Ein Stuhl? in front of the door without folding it up first. I swear this place is full of morons. What is this? And now, you're not. But, I will find you. All right, the order of the day is to find that CD, Sarah. Archie must have had a unique hiding place, some place he knew that none of us would look in. OK, well, why is the CD so important, Dex? I mean, did Archie solve the flaws of the AC Dimex player? No, 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 no. But I, I think I've figured out how to correct the player. Okay. The cost is another matter. I just... I just don't want everyone thinking that the cutbacks and the changes are my idea. Archie... Is gone, Dex. Archie is gone. He put his trust in you, so... I would have to assume that whatever changes you make in his absence would be made with his blessing. Uh, let's just say that uh, I want to keep Archie's wishes intact for now. Now, uh, get somebody downstairs and have another look around. That, that CD's got to be somewhere. Let's find it. I know you're wondering what I'm doing. Well, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that your last wish happens. But know this, after I play that CD, I'm doing things my way. for. 
God forgives you. Did you hear what he said? Uh, I thought you were learning some self-control. Don't you feel some remorse or something? Okay. I'm sure I picked up the keys. But I need the keys to get in my office. And what about the really nice move you just made on the briefcase? When dogs have to go, they go quick. And I hurt my knee, lifting my leg to pee. It's not easy being a dog. I want to know, are you here to help me or what? I'm here to observe, not help. No one will know. Are you telling me he knows every move I make? Every single move. That's not good. I'll be outside. we are living in. Oh, that's, that's great. That's terrific. I see you really know how to take great care of yourself. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I don't see any food or, or water. This could be a very long night, Archie. Okay. How do I say I'm sorry? It's a little late for sorry. No, I'm sincere. I'm sorry, I want to apologize. What are you apologizing for? Everything. But that's not how it works, Archie. You don't even have a clue what you've done, do you? You're so used to being a jerk all the time, you think that doing wrong is right. I'll see you in the morning. Wait, wait, wait. I am a control freak. I am number one. Until, until just recently. That's the whole point, Archie. There is no number one. You should have had some friends, or maybe even a girlfriend. Why? You can't trust men. You can't trust your friends. And women are like dogs. You're gonna have a really hard time with that one. Say, listen, while we're on the subject, let me ask you something. Okay. What do fire escapes, bulletproof vests, windshield wipers, and laser printers have in common? It's a trick question. Nope, but I'll tell you the answer just so you don't lose any sleep tonight. All of those things I just named were invented by women. No, they weren't. Have a good night, Archie. Building. But he isn't here anymore, so the only person we have to worry about is. Frank! Get in here! Dexter. Frank? 
There are paw prints on this desk. This is impossible. Could someone have left a window open last night? Nine? Not unless someone is going home after I did. And I do believe I was the last one out of the building last night. Frank, if there is a wild animal loose in this building, I want it found by whatever means necessary. This I will do, Mr. Pursley. It's so cute. Sarah? Is that you? Sarah? Sarah? What is that? This is looking like a dog, Mr. Pursley. I'll get it. Now? Yes, now go! Doggy! Doggy! Where are your papers? Don't hurt him! Don't hurt him! Sarah, how could you touch a wild animal like that? Call the guards! Call animal control! And someone bring my fishing nets! Once we have captured that little beast, I want to have a word with you in my office. And did you find that CD last night? No, Dex, we tore Archie's office apart. We didn't find anything. Oh, great. That's just great. Now I've got a wild animal loose in the building, a missing CD, and a stockholders meeting in four hours. I expected a lot more of you. Archie would have been very, very disappointed in you, Sarah. Archie didn't even know me, Dex. Kleiner Hund! You're not a very nice doggy. If I am not knowing better, I would say that you are trying to get even with me. There is something funny here. Well, you wait and see, Mr. Smarty Pants. What goes around is coming around. Stay with me. Okay. Where? We're going upstairs. What for? To catch the dog. We're trying to catch a dog, remember? Now, uh, why do you think the dog went upstairs? I don't know. Maybe he thought he was trapped or something. Who set the trap? You know, why don't you guys just go downstairs and guard the gate? I think I can handle this on my own. Well, someone must know where the trap is. I don't know what the big deal is. How big is the trap? Let me get it. I... Guards, come down to my office right away. That dog is waiting here for you to throw him out. Over. Who is this? And what office are you calling from? I'm Dexter Pearlsley. Who do you think? Uh, I can't hear you very well. Over now. Here. Time up. I really think he's trying to tell us something, Dexter. Look, look in his eyes. Carol? This is Dexter. I want you to get those guards down here. Call animal control so I can get this filthy beast out of my office. Yes, Dexter. I think I'm going to keep him. Don't be ridiculous, Sarah. That's a dog. You know how Archie hated those little varmints. Dex, Archie is gone. You're the boss now. Yes, I know. 
and, and as the boss, I, I think that the company should be run exactly as Archie wanted it run. I mean, look at how successful he was. Look at, look at what he accomplished. But he was miserable and angry. Sometimes you just have to make sacrifices. So in Archie's case, you really think all those sacrifices were worth it? Sarah, we both have long-term contracts, but if we make any mistakes running this company, we can be replaced. Okay, well, what, what can I do? Just organize another search of Archie's office, and I'll take care of this dog thing. Carol! What are you trying to do? This is absolutely incredible. <laughs> you are so cute. I don't get it. Do you want me to open the drawer? something in there earlier, huh? You're no dog bones in here. Trust me on that one. Oh, I I'm not sure what we should do with that. Th there's supposed to be some pretty disturbing things on it. Wait, Ar Archie wanted that plate at the stockholders meeting. Ma Put it down! I no! Trace of them, sir. Where did you look? Look, uh, we, um, <laughs> I, I don't know what you mean, sir. The dog. I'm talking about the dog. We had to look for the nets so we uh, wouldn't get attacked. <laughs> but we're ready now, sir. That's if you are. Who hired you to? To do what, sir? Never mind. Just follow me and don't get lost. Yeah, who got lost? Lost? How did someone get lost? Come on, before he tries to ditch us. Is that... Yes. That was the only copy. What have you done? I'm glad the CD broke. I didn't want to play it anyway. Well, what are you going to tell the stockholders? I'm going to tell them that our new multimedia player is going to knock the socks off of the competition and that we're going to need a larger advertising budget than we thought. Well, should we anticipate any changes, Dex? No changes. I think Archie would be very proud of what we're about to do. We're going to see to it that he didn't live his life in vain and that AC Tech lives on forever. So you don't really have to be as mean as people believed Archie to be, do you? I hope not. This dog is so cute. <laughs> pet him. Huh? Don't pet him. I don't pet dogs. <laughs> Try it. Come on. Hello. <laughs> Here's not so bad, is it? Wait, wouldn't it be fun to have a dog like this? Would you like to have dinner with me this evening? Yeah, I will. <laughs> oh, no! No! My arm! Did we get it? Get out of 
here. Wait, just wait, this way, this way. Wait. All right. Uh, I'll meet you in my office in ten minutes. Maybe we're okay. taking a break. All right. uh, now, where were we? Dogs. Yes. I agree. I think dogs would be a great idea. I mean, who knows? It, it might be just what I need to smooth all my rough edges. Keep me from being so mean as you put it. Speaking of dogs, where is he? This is so strange. And wasn't Archie the only one who knew where the... I don't want to talk about it. Hey, you have a hard time seeing the good side of things most of the time, don't you? Uh, Sweeney, I'm not in the mood. What is the next assignment? What's next? Oh, I got to go. What did I do wrong now? Huh. No idea how hard this is. I think, if I'm not mistaken, they refer to it as a dog's life. What's next? I'm sorry, are you in a hurry, Archie? I'd have a better time cleaning a short person's teeth. Oh, I see. So it's just rush in and rush out, and that solves everything, right? They won't let me in heaven until I complete two assignments. I've completed one. Which one is the next? This dog thing is getting old! Let's take a walk, huh? What do you say, big guy? There's a young family man, a very good man, who's in dire financial straits. As Archie, I could easily help. Archie's gone. But they would like quickly to try to help the man. Quickly. <laughs> Who is this guy? Your brother, Woodward. My brother, Woodward? I haven't talked to my brother in years. Woodward is a saphead. He spends more time being married and raising children than he has sense for. So what are you saying? I'm saying you can't help a guy like Woodward. But did you ever try? <laughs> no reason to. Tell me something, Archie. Do you even know what he does for a living? What his passion in life is? I didn't know he had one. And I don't care because Woodward takes a lot of his measly salary and gives it to charities. Now, if that's not a sign of weakness, you tell me what is. Giving to charity is a sign of great strength. You'll understand that, Archie. Now we have to go. Wait! You're always walking away! I got you. 
I got you. Oh, yeah. I failed. In my carelessness, I lost him. So, uh, omnipresent, why don't you tell me where he is? I'm sorry. I am sorry. You know, I'm not ready to give up. You, you gotta remember, I, I'm relatively new at this. It's only been maybe, what, 60, 62 years? Someone must have taken him. But where would someone take a dog? <laughs> this isn't funny! Of course it is. Hey, I'm just happy to see you. You look okay. I'm not. Look carefully. A grown man locked inside of the dog pound. Now get me out of here. Or adopt me. Just adopt me. How does an observing guardian angel stage a dog pound break? They're sending another dog in here with me. What's my first move? Because I don't know my brother at all. Well, the way I see it, Archie didn't know your brother. But you're not Archie now, are you? What do I do now that I'm Quigley? You got me. 
Well, I'm drawing a blank. I'm lost. I can't figure it out. Well, that's fine, but there's a fog bank waiting to collect us if we fail. Hey. Do you remember you helped me escape from the dog pound? I did not. Yes, you did. I did not. I only whistled. It was that stupid man who let you out. I had nothing to do with the fact that the gate opened wide enough for you to escape. I could have done that if I was Archie. You're right. You could have. Now, I'm going to go take a walk. I'll be around in case you get lost again. I didn't get lost. Right. I never get lost. Right. in the middle of the street, and there was this big truck coming towards me, and he pushed me out of the way. Cool. You should hug the doggy, Mama. Well, yes, I guess I should. <laughs> well, he looks well fed. Why don't we get you both cleaned up, and then we'll go look for his owner so he can go back home. Can we play with him first? Well, I think someone must miss him very much, don't you guys? Can we make up signs that say that we found a dog? Yes, of course we can. That is a wonderful idea. If no one wants him, can we keep him, Mama? Well, it's a little early to discuss that, Brian, but you know what? Why don't you go and get some of Frisky's food and see if this little guy's hungry? Frisky was our old dog, but he died of old age. He went to heaven where he can run in the flowers and tall grass. Huh, Mom? That's right. We really miss Frisky. You know, why don't we get you guys cleaned up and uh, get everybody fed, and then we'll go make those signs up. Can he come with us when we hang up the signs? Yeah, of course he can. We'll use Frisky's old leash. Okay. No. I'm just making sure he doesn't get lost again. I won't help him. Hey, guys. Hey, hey, who's this? Well, he doesn't have a collar, so we don't know who he is. He saved my life, Daddy. He did? Mm -hmm. He pushed her out of the way from a big truck so she wouldn't get smashed. <laughs> we hung up signs all over the neighborhood so his owner can take him back home. Well, that's really smart. Well, who thought of that? I did. High five. <laughs> I think we should keep him. Mm. Well, I do owe you a great deal of gratitude for saving my little girl. Has he been fed and given some water? Yes, Daddy. We've been playing with him all day. <laughs> well, so how was your day? <laughs> you go first. Well, the delivery service told me they were cutting back my hours, so I'll have to find another night job. But the uh, consulting business is kind of fun. Yeah? Yeah, I just wish it paid a little bit more, but I did tell this guy how to run his business, and he offered me a job. What kind of job? Good job? Bad job? Well, One of the above? I mean, it's, uh, it would be a pay cut, so it's not going to work out. 
Like everything will work out when you finish your new video game. Look, that's never gonna happen. There's just, there's just not enough time in the day. Your video games are sensational and they're almost finished. Besides, you made a promise to me a long time ago that you were gonna make video games for kids even their parents would approve of. Only your brother would have helped us in some small way. Look, just let's not go there, okay? Archie's in his own world someplace. Look, I asked him for help once, once, and he completely humiliated me. You're not angry about the dog, are you? No, no. Daddy, can the dog go to bed with us? No, the dog's still a stranger. But I'll tell you what, let's make a bed for him in the utility room and put some paper down for him. That way if he barks, he won't bother any of us. Okay. All right. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. We got good kids. Joanne! reading the paper and I think you've been working too hard why don't you come sit down and have some breakfast no 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 I, I mean I, I swear he's his, his eyes are going back and forth like he's like he's reading the, the, the stock exchange thing down there come on okay everybody Lord, thank you for our many blessings and for the miracle of life and our health, which we treasure. Amen. 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 Looks good. So has anyone called for the dog yet? Not one. Good, we can keep him. Not so fast. You know, that dog belongs to somebody out there, guys, and it's our responsibility to make sure that they get back together. Maybe we can check the signs and see if they're still up. Okay. Why were you up? Can we bring the dog? <laughs> Excuse me? While we do that, can we bring the dog? Speaking of which, why why don't you take the dog into the backyard and see if he has to go potty? Okay. you doing? You making progress? I might have made a mistake. Might have? What's that supposed to mean? I should have helped you. You can still do that. No, I can't. It's too late. It's never too late to change, Archie. Look at me. I'm only 10 inches tall. What can I do? Go help them. I have to get back in the bushes. That was a nice move. Thank you. Probably not. That's too bad. We could use an extra player. Three people? Was Mom with before? You think you could play? Let's show him how and see if he can use the stick. Mm, he needs hands and fingers. Never mind. You can watch if you like. Hey. I have something. 
thing I want to show you. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Come here. Nice one. That is the reason you're going to finish your video games, Mr. Channing. What would I ever do without you? You think of something. Unimaginable. <laughs> signs are still up, we'll be able to keep the dog? If no one wants him back, I'm sure Mom and Dad will let us keep him. But what if the signs are gone? Then we'll have to make up more signs. Don't want to keep someone else's dog, do we? No, I guess not. Promise me you won't tell anyone where I went. Promise? Yeah, but you promise to come right back after you checked if the signs are still up, right? I'll come right back. I'll stay in my room and pretend we're playing together. Okay? Okay. They say you're lost. <laughs> You're not very funny. Do you have to go potty? And are you afraid I'm gonna lock you out? <laughs> How about if I leave the door open? Listen to me, I'm talking to a dog. <laughs> Why aren't you playing with the kids? <coughs> hmm. Megan, Brian. Went out where when I don't know. Brian Brian think I don't know all right come on let's go Woodward, 
Megan went out this morning and I can't find her anywhere. No, I haven't called the police yet. Do you want to go after him? No, he can find his way back. Um, what about our daughter? Uh, nothing yet, but it's just been a short while. She's probably right here in the neighborhood somewhere. Our baby's out there all alone. Please help us find her. Do you have a recent photo of your daughter, Mrs. Channing? Of course. Um, please come in. some help. I know. Well, do something then. I can't. No, I'm do just, something. Do I something. Can't. I can't. I'm just an observing guardian oh. angel. Listen, Archie. What? Can I have a hug? What? Hug. No. Don't hug. Hey, kid, shake. Why did you do that? I hope you have what it takes to solve this problem. <laughs> Gotta go. I'm on my own, it's up to me, but now I see can't be the man I was before. I was a fool, but how I've learned the tide has turned, I understand that life is more. Can I go back and get it right? Begin again, at least I've opened up the door. Quite a dog you've got there. What do you mean? He found her and was bringing her home when we located her. Thank you, boy. 
Thank you. Well, everything seems to be okay. You folks have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Our pleasure. You okay? All right. So I was wrong. Hey, isn't this the reason we never give up on people? funny. Why are you so muddy and wet? Have you forgotten something? Such as? The reason you're here. Oh. I'm still trying to figure that out. But it's not easy for a dog to give man money. You're not supposed to give him money, Archie. I'm not supposed to give him money, but I'm supposed to help him with his finances. That doesn't make sense. You're supposed to save him from ruin. Remember? They have until tomorrow. It's impossible. Look, I gotta go. I'm filthy. Shake yourself dry. That's your job, Archie. Just shake yourself dry. One hour and not a minute longer. But mom. If you argue. <laughs> Ryan, no arguing. <laughs> okay. Come on. Come on, doggy. Let's go. Come on, doggy. Come on, doggy. Let's go. Let's go. What happened today? Well. First they cut the hours, and uh, then they cut the jobs, and uh, mine was one of the ones eliminated. I have to go back to work, buddy. Look, the kids need you here. It'll be all right. You know, I could um, work part-time someplace close to the house, that way, I wouldn't be gone for long periods. No, I, 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 I don't want some stranger coming into this house taking care of the kids. Look, what I'll do is I'll put the games on hold for a couple of weeks until I can find another second job. You've already got a full-time job right here.
The kitchen has to do all the dishes. What's that crazy dog done? Logical development place, I think. Come on, kids. Hey there, little fella. Hi. Hey, Sarah. Look, an old friend stopped by to say hello. Hi. <laughs> he looks thirsty. I'll get him some water. Thanks. Okay, yeah, now I really think he's trying to tell us something. What, do you think the dog wants to play the CDs or something? Yeah, I, I definitely think he wants you to play the CD. Sarah, the dog's cute, but this is ridiculous. All right, all right, all right. He has that crazy look. Where do you look? to see crazy. <laughs> harder, harder, harder. This is the best game I've ever played. I mean, it's far better than anything we've ever developed. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Dexter, maybe Here. next time. Hey, hey, what are you doing with my games? Your games, the dog brought them in. Why do you look so familiar to look, me? Look, I have never seen you people before in my life. Just give me back my games. Wait a minute, Wait, do you know what we do here? You're into technology. Partly. Uh, can we take it from the top? No. 
I want my games back, and then we'll all just leave. Daddy. Not now, Megan. Uh, my name is Dexter Pearlsley, and I run this place uh, with a bunch of other people, including Sarah here. Uh, these games are the best we've ever seen. And we've been developing video games here for over 10 years. Daddy! Uh, yes, Pumpkin? They make some of the games you call trash. See? She's right. She's right. It's all garbage. But do you have any more like these? Several unfinished ones. Well, if we were to offer you, say, half a million dollars to develop video games exclusively for us, what would you say to that? <laughs> Please say yes. Um, when can he start? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. Dexter, you are, uh... Hi, folks. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, Woodward, Woodward Channing. And this is my wife, Joanne, and Hi. these are my children. This is Megan and Brian. I knew it. You're Archie's brother, aren't you? Archie's brother? I didn't know Archie had a brother. Well, for the most part, I didn't know I had a brother either. Well, why, why didn't he ever bring you in here? I mean, did he know what you can do? Um... No, no, we weren't very close. Well, we wouldn't have known about you at all if it weren't for your dog. <laughs> oh, he's not their dog. I saw the signs you put up in the neighborhood. And then when I came over, you all raced out, and I had to rush over here to find you. Is he really your dog? Yes. His name is Quigley, and he's my very best friend. I've been looking all over for him. Well, uh, I can't thank you enough for taking such good care of him. It, it really means a lot to me. Are you ready to go home now, Quigley? Goodbye, Quigley. Yeah, now we lost two doggies. I just want to know if he can. How did you. Never mind. Um, you know, kids, um, Sarah and I were so fond of that dog that we went out and we found a whole litter of puppies that look exactly like your Quickly. I think we're on the same page. <laughs> to seal the deal, why don't you follow us downtown this afternoon when we go to pick up our puppy? There are five puppies. And they all look like Quigley? Exactly. <laughs> that would be wonderful. <laughs> if he turns out to be half the dog Quigley was, we'll be very lucky. Can I show you around? Getting to know my brother. He's a nice guy. <laughs> I think you did great, personally. I'm on your side. Ah. Whew, well, I'm back. And, uh, I did good. You did the no-no on that man's briefcase. That was wrong. You almost caused several accidents in your haste. You continue to behave as though you were the only one that's important. I did find the girl. Yes, after you forgot to watch her and she slipped out of the house. 
You're still rough around the edges, Archer Channing. Still taking shortcuts at others' expense. I know. Next time. There is no such thing as next time. There are no second chances, Archie Channing. You are what you are, a miserable human being. The only thing you've ever cared about is yourself. I mean when I go back. There is no going back. Ah. Uh. Gotta be a way. There has got to be a way to do this. I can't leave everything like it is. Unfortunately. No, no, I can't leave everything like it is. What you've done is done, and nothing will change that. I'll do anything. Wait! You cannot earn your way into heaven by doing good deeds, Archie. The only way into heaven is by faith and faith alone. <laughs> Is the dog all right? Dog? Yes, there was a dog. I don't think there was a dog, Mr. Channing. You're a very lucky man to survive such a terrible accident. God must be watching over you. Why are you saying that? Well, you only have a few scratches and not one broken bone. The police still can't believe that you're alive. Ooh. I get to use a phone. Of course. And then you can check out and go home. Thank you. You. <clears throat> Hello, Dexter. Hello. I'm ready to come home from the hospital. Could you please come and get me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yes, and have you found the CD ROM? That's not good. We have to destroy that. I don't want anyone to see what's on there because it's not good. No, it's not good. And I have other things I want to talk to you about, too. Don't forget to take your medication. OK, thank you. Thank you very much. Did you get it? Yes, I got it. It is a little confusing, though. <laughs> Good. Let's go. Let's just go. There's going to be some more changes at the company as well. People who have pets now have my permission to bring those pets to work with them every day so they can be close together. And there will be immediate raises for every employee that has a job well done. And I'm beginning this right now, our profit sharing program. So all employees can be rewarded for the loyalty. Are you all right, sir? Yes, I am all right. I want to go see my brother. Your brother? I didn't know you had a brother. Haven't seen him in years. Let's surprise him. 1461 Juniper Lane. Thank you. You say something, Archie? Yes, I did. Thank you for putting up with me during my bitterness and my selfishness. I am going to ask you already made up my mind. You're my partner. Equally. How do you feel about that? Thanks, Archie. Gotta 
be kidding. I want to know if you could find it in your heart to forgive me. What do you want, Archie? I want to know you for who you are. I want to know your family. And I want you to know me for who I am now. Why? Why not? Why not exactly? Oh, I'm sorry. This is my partner, Dexter Pearsley. Look, is this another one of your cruel jokes, Archie? Because if it is, you should just leave. It's been a long time. It's been too long. Brian, Megan, I'm your long-lost uncle that hadn't been here for you like he should have been. And I found something very unknown to me. What did you find? Life. My life. I didn't know I had one. I didn't even know it was there. <laughs> Are you all right? I'm better than I've ever been. I just, uh came out of a never-ending nightmare. So I've come here to ask for your forgiveness. You've always been welcome at our house, Archie. Oh, Joanne. Thank you. It means a lot to me. I want to know everything about your games. How do you know about my games? I've been to a very special place. I don't know how I got there. I don't know where it is. But I was given good visions of who I really am. This is the bravest thing I've ever done. Because it's the truth. I have a surprise for the family. His name is Quigley. <laughs> Let's go to car keys. Woody, good to be with you. Buddy.
sometimes it's hard to keep them off my brain. I said this, I did that. It's now record and a matter of fact. Right or wrong, can't be tracked. Done is done, and I'm not looking back. I don't want to have this recollection controlling my thoughts. I'd rather think that I have learned my lesson and try to believe it was not a total loss. I'm keeping Traveling. If it gets too hard, then where would I be? 